Uh, talking about uh, Big Brother, I'm sure you're wondering why we are talking about the reality show on a sports show. Well, one of the contestants is a sportsman, an athlete who decided to dump Britain to represent Nigeria. He is Mike Edwards, a finalist in the reality TV show and a true ambassador of athletics. And he really did represent Nigeria athletes well in the house. Now, looking at um, uh, Mike, most people never even got to know that he is an, an, a Nigerian athlete. But there's a big question on why he decided to dump Britain to represent Nigeria. There was a point he was even banned, but he later fought a, a one-man battle and won the battle to represent Nigeria. I mean, don't you get to wonder why one gets to mix sports and athletics? Oh, uh, I mean, sports uh, and uh, entertainment. Oh, yeah. Um, I was fortunate to have a conversation with him a couple of years ago during the African Athletics. And he's a really, really good guy, a really passionate guy. He's one of those Nigerians that um, on a good day they could make it out on something else. Mm. And, you know, they decided that, like, we don't have a lot of um, fresh grounds to break mm. so far, so they want to do their bit. And the conversation we had, it was he that introduced me actually to Enye Kwechi and, of course, um, 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 Edosa Ibadin. Mm. It was actually him that introduced me to this crop of athletes and of course the girls like uh, Chinyere Oyenkwe, he was the one that was mm. like, yo, you should talk with this girl. He's the kind of guy that is passionate about Nigeria and he just doesn't want to come and complain. So good on him. When I asked him, why would you bother to want to come to a show like Big Brother? He said popularity for Nigerian athletes mm. is not high. If you're not playing football, you don't get a lot of, you know, visibility. He's going to be the first Nigerian athlete to represent us at the high jump, at the mm. Olympics. Yes, in eons. And it didn't feel like it would have enough publicity for Nigerians. Imagine that Essie Brumer won the medal. But exactly. who trended yesterday? Mike. Mike Edwards. And for Mike, he finally got the chance to represent Nigeria at the 2018 African Senior Athletics Championship in Asaba after a failed attempt to switch allegiance. That's from Britain to Nigeria. He's born to a Jamaican father and a Nigerian mother. And Edwards was raised in the United Kingdom. And in April, he was barred from competing for Nigeria at the 2018 Commonwealth Games mm -hmm. in Australia because he represented Britain at the European Junior Championships in 2009. And prior to this, the International Association of Athletics Federation as the IWAF had frozen transfer of allegiance process, citing, con citing concerns over exploitation of young athletes. Uh, we spoke with um, Fumila Ofamiso, uh, the founder and the uh, creative director of Nigeria Athletics, and uh, she gave deeper reasons why Mike decided to go for the reality show. Let's listen to her. Oh, I, I think I, I may know or have an idea of why he went for the show. There are several reasons. Sports and entertainment, they are together in this age present age if you want to make money from sports you have to infuse a setting like infuse like it's something about entertainment to it and it's true so it's same thing in nigeria we have to evolve we don't have to say stay back mike has seen this thing that okay fine he just came to nigeria last year he wanted to represent nigeria he was denied to compete at the commonwealth games but Luckily for him, at the African Championships in Asaba, he was cleared to compete. And that was his first time. He went for the National Sports Festival. He, he won there. And this year, he has not been able to do much. And he told, he may, probably he talked about it, that how can I bring more attraction to athletics in Nigeria? In fact, the day he stepped on the stage, Ebuka asked him, you're an athlete. How are you going to stay disciplined in the house? He said, see, this is what my body has been made to go through all my years. So staying disciplined won't be an issue. The most important thing is that people should know why I'm here. And he's always saying it in the house that I'm an athlete, I'm, I do the high jump, I'm aiming to be at the Olympics next year. So it's a good image for, for athletics. The fact that your 24 hours is for athletics does not mean another person's 24 hours has to be for athletics. Because after athletics, what next? You can't do athletics for your whole life for 80 years or 50 years. Athletics is for a certain age. So what next? And these are the things that Mike has seen. That, okay, what next? If I'm able to mix my, um, to, 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 to be in the entertainment industry and be in the sports industry, then I can be the face that links these two industries together. And we've been struggling for, for, to, to, to get sponsors in, in athletics for the past, like, five years. Football has been getting all the major endorsements. These are the positives you can see from Mike being in the Big Brother house. And aside Big Brother Nigeria, whatever, whatever endorsement is going to get after this is going to find a way to infuse a sports career into it. 
and which will rub off on athletics, uh, on Nigerian athletics as a whole, and increase the marketability of Nigerian athletics. If people don't understand, these are the positives that Mike is going to bring from it. He is, he, he has, he's a businessman. He has his own business. He studied business in school. So he understands the, the business side of sport. That maybe these are the things. And maybe he was even angry of the fact that last year they went to name the Banj and Tenny as the faces of athletics in Nigeria. Musicians, you see, you, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Why would musicians be the first? When we have sports people, well able sports people. So this is uh, these are one of the reasons that I see that would have made him say, you know what, I'm going to go there. I want to change a lot of things in Nigeria. I want to change. He said he wants to. One of the questions that was asked uh, that he was asked sometime last year is, why would you leave Britain for Nigeria? Why would you leave? He was a Brit. He was the British champion in 2018. So for people that are thinking that he's not a, an elite athlete, he, he, he is the big British indoor champion. And he, a few weeks after that, he said, I want to compete for Nigeria. So he's been asked that, why do you want to leave Britain for Nigeria, where things are working for things, where things are not really working? And one the major thing is that he said was that, I want to leave a legacy. I want to leave a legacy in Nigerian sport. Doing this is going to, leave, is going to be a brand like a brand to leave the legacy that okay athletics are now is now being seen athletics is now being recognized like football athletics is now getting endorsement athletics is now a major thing to be recognized with in nigeria because it was on a particular show and it became known and probably maybe, i hope he wins and he's now getting bringing more attraction to the sport well she hopes uh, uh, mike edwards wins the competition but it never got to happen he finished as a runner-up in that competition and uh, we know who eventually won um so is a big fan of Messi, so uh, she eventually won Messi lambo she, she eventually won that tournament um wow tournament the uh, reality show <laughs>